Could you imagine giving the past 40 years of your life to something and not even know if you love it? To fight for survival every day and give your body and soul to something to only have the realization that it wouldn't have mattered if you lived or died? March Comes In Like a Lion is a human story. It's about people. It doesn't set up a cohesive narrative, but rather spends most of its time just around the characters during their daily lives. The thing that defines the cast is not their sparse moments of greatness, but rather every other indecisive decision that is made. Most stories focus on just one or two moments of a person's life, and use them as their defining characteristics. The perverted old man is defined by the pieces of wisdom he gives out. The hero is defined by a few acts of kindness. This story, however, reverses that narrative concept. It shows a story of broken people with problems, who sometimes rise above themselves. Our protagonist is a child prodigy, and yet the thing in which he has dedicated himself to doesn't bring anything but pain. Chasing dreams is compared to swimming through an ocean during a storm, and once you finally make it back to shore, you question why you even began in the first place. Is it the condition of man to crush themselves underneath their own hope and despair? I also don't think it's an accident that the characters that would be considered to have the least amount of skill also are painted as having their lives together the most. Even without passion or dreams, they are happy. Without money or even a complete family, they are the happiest. The rest of the cast fight day in and day out, latching onto the smallest fragment of satisfaction just to end up losing everything and having to start again. It doesn't just paint a bleak picture, however. At the end of each cycle, there is a somber smile and a feeling that they are slightly farther along this path with no end in sight. March Comes In Like a Lion is real. Most people who fight do so because they lack something, a thing which they hope to replace with this path they walk. The further down the path they get, the more they realize that the crushing feeling is only getting more overwhelming. That the more they swim against the ocean, the more it seems that an endless amount of murky water will be pushing down on them. If the motif of water is depression and overwhelming odds, then the imagery of light and warmth represents contentment and fulfillment. The sisters are always basked in a warm glow, whereas of course our protagonist is consistently surrounded by dark, overwhelming waves that consistently beat down upon him. These uses of imagery, they also show us something else. Even though one might be surrounded by an overwhelming amount of water, and no matter how deep they are dragged down, when that small amount of light shines through, it gives you the strength to keep going. Even if it's just the smallest amount of warmth out at sea, it has that much more of an impact. As you keep swimming, and that despair comes down onto you with relentless pain and suffering, as the tears fall off of your face adding to this expansive ocean, you will come to see it, a shining beacon in the distance, a place where you can feel warmth and happiness. And even though you know tomorrow you will have to plunge headfirst back into the cold ocean, you will do so with a smile on your face.